Once a contested territory, the hub lies in the center of the border zone under its own governance. It is a rundown city due to poor upkeep, ran by outlaws of the Holy Nation. Originally, the hub was owned by the Holy Nation, but ill-fortified, as it only took a small amount of civil unrest for the Holy Nation to lose the hub completely. Attempts were made to retake the city, but eventually, the Holy Nation gave up for the time being. It wasn't long after that that the Shek Kingdom occupied the hub through brute force. Even shorter so, they would sack the city and set it ablaze before retreating. Word eventually reached the Holy Nation of the hub's poor fate, so a small force was sent to investigate the area. They spotted shadowy figures in the city, but didn't find any enemies to fight. After losing a bone dog and one of their sentinels to something unseen, the Holy Nation decided to abandon the hub for good, claiming the ruins were haunted by wraiths. It is rumored that the Shek forces were originally driven out by the same entities. It was fortunate that the trade ninjas and shinobi thieves decided to set up a bar and outpost here, providing the town with some small semblance of an economy for passerbys. The hub is a lifesaver for a wandering adventurer in the border zone, and a great place to establish a camp near. Iron and copper litter the outskirts of the city, as well as a small rebel base posing as a standard inn. The only real threat to the area now are the unfortunate souls that chose to name themselves the Starving Bandits, for obvious reasons, and the more well-off and dangerous Dust Bandits. Both groups can be paid off with food or cats, but woe to one caught without either. Perhaps one day the hub can rise up truly as its own city-state. Chances are slim, though, as the major powers that be will likely set their eyes on the hub once again, if it ever truly reaches success.